Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel. And today I have a little mini mashup for you, a little Tuesday twofer, because I have two boxes that have been sent to me for review to share with all of you. Now these are both February boxes that arrived while I was traveling, while I was away, and so I wanted to get them posted as soon as possible. As with all of my mashups where I open more than one box in the same video, I'll try to leave timestamps for you as well as all of the important information in terms of referral codes or affiliate links if I have them but let's go ahead and get started with Anchor of Hope box. Now some of you are very familiar with this box because I have been opening it as a reviewer or subscriber probably since the beginning of my channel which now is almost five years ago if you can believe it. I personally cannot. This is a lovely box. They always send you three beautiful items for $36 per month plus $6 in shipping. They do still have a really good deal where you can get three months for $99 plus basically three months of shipping, $18. So I think that's a nice savings of $9, basically $3 per box. It makes a great gift because all of the items come from around the world and they help to support survivors of human trafficking or just other people that are living in sort of vulnerable situations, allowing them to make a living wage and support their children and help them to live better lives. So I just think it's a great cause. You guys know I love a great cause. So this is um, a box that I do have a discount code for the box as well as the website because they do have like an artisan marketplace where you can get more items that are like this. It is uh, Noel 10 and that will save you 10%. But like I said, I'll put that in the, the bottom description box. So we always get this nice little sheet that tells us a little bit more about Anchor of Hope box, who they are, what they do. And sometimes I go ahead and read a little bit. So it is a subscription box company that commissions refugees, survivors of human trafficking, and others in vulnerable situations to make handmade items. Through the dignity of work, these individuals are able to rebuild damaged and fragile lives as they work to overcome the painful situations that have brought them to this place. And then a little bit about what they do. Every month they meet like domestically here in the US with a group of local women teaching them a new skill every month and paying them for their hard work. We also scour the globe looking for other organizations doing the exact same thing so we can include them in the box as well. So I love that. So we've gotten a lot of things that were handmade by refugees. So we've gotten like room sprays, like jewelry pieces, just really, I just feel like it's so special but because it's something that they can do and kind of create a sense of community, but also we're getting really lovely handmade items. Then they also have a product card and they format it so that you can actually slice this if you want to re-gift any of the items, then that person, that recipient can know a little bit about the background and where it came from um, and what the item is. So love that. I'll put that up in front of me. It gets a little bit curly there. So let's see. Oh, this is from Imani. So Imani is a company um, that gets artisan goods from around the world and we've definitely gotten items from them before in other boxes as well as Anchor of Hope box. So they are in work in close collaboration with Hands Producing Hope as well. So let's see if I can get this open. All right. So I'm going to go with the item that's all bundled up. So I'm guessing this might be the item that was made in the U.S. by that group of women that meets up and gives them... Uh, valuable skills. So this is, it's kind of funny because we've definitely gotten one of these before and I just use it as my example and we got a, a room spray again or a linen spray. You could use it for either. So happily they included it in this nice, is this a glass bottle? Maybe that's why it was all bubble wrapped up and we have the nice sprayer. So it's nice when we get like a nice reusable bottle like that and they put it in plastic so that there was no leakage. Oh, this is lovely. So soothing linen, key ingredients, lavender and cedar wood. So it is made by Hands Producing Hope. It's, it's a plastic bottle, It's but they did protect it nicely. So it says, spray this linen room spray straight onto bedding or around your room for a fresh, relaxing smell. At the Hands Producing Hope workshop, these refugee women from all around the world who are rebuilding their lives gather together to build community and make beautiful arts and goods together. In addition to community, they gain English practice, mentoring, and income. I have to give this a sniff. So your purchase provides um, dignified work, community, and hope. Love that. Let me give that a sniff. Ooh, that's really nice. Definitely um, a lot of lavender, but also like tempered with the cedar wood that gives it that nice earthy, fresh smell. So I'm into that. Ooh, what is this? This looks interesting. This is an, says 100% natural Ecomax plastic free. Oh, it's a twisted scrubby. So it says it's oh made out of coconut fiber. So it says twisted scourer. That's a hard word to say, but it's really cool. 
So let's see what it says about this. This is made in Sri Lanka. This fair trade scourer is a long lasting sustainable alternative to a nylon scourer. It cleans without scratching, is dishwasher safe, and doesn't contain any microplastics. Ethically handmade in Sri Lanka from coconut fiber, this naturally antibacterial scrubber won't become smelly or moldy with use. Once it reaches the end of its life, simply throw it in the compost to biodegrade. I love that. And it's I think that's really cool. Um, I'll have to test it on a couple things first to see if it scratches, but I believe them. But that's really cool, and I like the shape of it. It's fun, and I love that you can put it in the dishwasher if you feel like it needs a, needs a little deep cleaning, right? And then finally, so this is very um, Imani Designs, I'm guessing. So this is a canvas wall hanging that was handmade in Kenya. It's really cute. It's got that sort of like modern, boho, chic sort of um, like color palette says, we love how these banners combine encouragement, great design, and fair trade principles. Imani's vision is to create change and break the generational cycle of poverty through education, training, and instilling confidence that creates space for our artisans to dream of a brighter future. So super cute, but what I really love is it's Imani and kids, and then they actually have the artist hand write their name on the back. So just a little kind of human connection there. I think that's so cool. And then we actually have a picture of Joyce. You guys, that's so cool. I love that. So you can scan there to learn a little bit more. Um, so it's the holding company for several brands and they're empowering artisans through dignified work, opportunity, and community. That's so cool. Our co core value is to go beyond just a transactional exchange with artisans, but to create a work culture and community that allows for long-term job stability, career advancement, and sustainable change. And you know, we all need this little reminder sometimes, especially when we get frustrated, right? to be kind, to have some compassion, even uh, a little humility. Sometimes that's a huge part of it, right? So lovely box as usual from Anchor of Hope. So we got a little wall hanging, a little home decor, uh, soothing uh, room spray, again, a little something for the home. This is a very like home uh, focused oriented box. And then we got this nice scrubby. I like a nice useful and also eco-friendly item. All right, so that was our first box in our Tuesday twofer. The next one is a jewelry subscription, also one that you've seen on the channel for many years now. Well, many, at least at least four. It is Mint Mongoose. They're kind enough to send me their subscription where you get two pieces of jewelry per month in one of your three chosen color um, choices. So there's gold, rose gold, or silver. And you can swap that out occasionally if you want to. Sometimes when I see sneak peeks of the design for that month, I will ask them to swap it out, but usually I go with gold. So it's $29.99 per month. That includes the shipping. I do have a code for you though. It's not an affiliate link where I get commission. Um, neither is it really with Anchor of Hope these days, but it is... Um, a nice coupon code for you. It's Noel50, Noel50. That'll get you your first set of two pieces of jewelry that are yours to keep. It's not a jewelry rental service. And so it will bring it down from that $29.99 to just basically $15. So pretty good deal, right? Um, so again, Noel50 for 50% off. It comes in a little mailer bag in this cute little envelope with a little mint mongoose seal on it. And then in the band, there is a card, usually with an inspirational image. This one's fun. It's just like word art. So it's like traditions, dance party, weekend breakfast, scrapbooking. So she got creative with her um, design uh, app, I guess, this time around. And then on the other side, Helena, the mama behind the mongoose, tells us a little bit about the inspiration. And she also gives us some images for the items. You can tell them if you don't have pierced ears or you prefer not to get earrings. And there is usually an alternative piece of jewelry. So it says, there's no time like blank time. So little Mad Libs for us. But let me get into this so I can read to you while we are going through it. You guys, um, let's see. I, I think we'll do a secret password, but I haven't come up with what it is yet. One of the things that I love, though, is she always includes a Werther's original, so I'm always excited to get that little sweet treat in my box. And as you can hear, my voice is just still, still a little bit scratchy. I just kind of picked up like a little bit of a scratchy throat and voice on my travels. Something that always happens, but luckily enough, I felt very healthy and happy while I was away. Inside, we have this nice little wrapped bit of tissue paper, and then I usually just kind of cheat and use some scissors to get into the package. But it is nice that everything is individually packaged, each of the items. So it says this month's uh, set is inspired by special traditions and how meaningful they can be. I love that. So 
since we moved to our new home in a new state nearly two years ago, life has transformed. It says, in California, outdoor fires, aside from small fire pits, weren't a thing as we lived in a neighborhood and California has a lot of fire restrictions because as you know, wildfires here are definitely a constant threat. It says, here we live on five anchors and while we do have neighbors, they're quite a ways away. Fires are loud here. This is still so strange to me, but I love it. We use fire as a tool to keep our land clean, burning fallen branches and small amounts of leaves at a time. Water is like, um, or fire is like water. It can be so destructive and then also so cleansing and purifying at the same time. It's like one of those amazing forces of nature, quite literally, that's just, I'm always in awe of it. Um, so it says, we use fire as a tool to keep our land clean. It says, we also use the fire as a means of family time by making s'mores and spending time outdoors. During a recent snowstorm, we also use the fire for warmth. Yes, I actually, I've occasionally it gets cold enough here that I wish that my fireplace was still working. I mean, it works, but technically I'm not supposed to use it. <laughs> uh, so these are the earrings, you guys. I love these. So sometimes the earrings are exactly like the pendant for the necklace in the set, and sometimes they're just kind of like inspired by, and you can kind of see how they echo one another. So these are lovely because there's no like stone, there's no color, they're just sort of a hammered, um, oval shape, almond shape to them, and they have a little bit more length than sometimes the earrings from Mint Mongoose do, so I actually really like these. I think those are cute, so maybe I'll put those on as I continue to read to you. It says... All four kids love our time around the fire. They love to help build up the branches or an organic matter that will become the fire. They love to watch as their dad gets it going and they love to watch it work. Their chats around the bonfire make my mama heart happy. It is cozy and special and ours. It has truly become a loved family tradition. So wow, this is really pretty. So it is on a longer chain, although she does give us, let's see, one, two, three, four different lengths that you could do. So there's this extender chain. There's a little mint mongoose on that final medallion there. And then look at this. I don't know if you guys will be able to see, but it's like this glowing green and it's two-sided. So you get some of that light shining through, but you can see how this, uh, the earrings just sort of mimic that. They're not like an exact match. Although I do think a big dramatic, uh, earring with the same pendant could be kind of fun but I'll hold that up for you guys hopefully and be able to see it a little bit better it says this jewelry set is meant to shine a light on a special family tradition in your life while the white whisk of color can represent smoke if bonfires also happen to be your special time it can also represent how rare special and fleeting it is to be able to spend time in a meaningful tradition with your loved ones many traditions only come around once a year so when you're living in the moment of them it is special so true it says when you wear this set I hope it reminds you of the love and comfort of special traditions with the special people in your life and maybe even inspires you to create some new ones so I love that idea the wisps of smoke how fleeting time is and especially those traditions that we have for example my family likes to go to Disneyland it's not my husband's favorite tradition but it's one of mine um, but I love that green color it's really intense and pretty and I'll just hold up one of the earrings so you can get a sense of the size comparison so the earrings are really pretty dainty in comparison but I think it's really pretty. So it actually goes pretty well with my, my dress that I'm wearing right now, um, but, uh, which is from Stitch Fix, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it or not. Sometimes I like to try things on, on camera and see if there's something that I think I would reach for again. So really, really pretty. You guys, let's have that secret password that I promised you. It's gonna be bonfire this time around. So when you come across a secret password in one of my videos, you wanna enter it along with your contact information in the Google form linked for you in the description box below. And then about five days, I actually give you the fifth day. So usually on the sixth of the following month, I use a random number picker to select a few winners to receive a mystery box. It's just my way of saying thank you for watching my videos and watching them carefully, listening to the whole thing, finding those secret passwords. And then I will send out mystery boxes to a few winners. Usually there's anywhere between two to, I mean, there was one month where I sent out 15 boxes just because I had a lot to share with everyone. You have to be 18 years or older. You have to have a US or Canadian mailing address. Canadians, I do need some help with the shipping because it is so costly to send it up there to you um, but I do want you to be able to participate you do have to be subscribed to my channel just as a reminder it is not affiliated with YouTube or any of the boxes that I open here on the channel and again it's just my way of saying thank you and sharing some of the wealth because I do feel really grateful uh, that I am able to review so many of these boxes and have so many of them sent to me for review and I also share the items from the boxes that I pay for just because I can't use all of it and I want you guys to enjoy and see the quality and 
You know, sometimes that convinces you to become a subscriber of a box as well. But we've really created a lovely community over in our private Facebook group as well. It's called the Nobot Nook. So if you're looking to join me there, I would love to see you there. There is a link for you. Do remember to answer all the questions to get in there. And then you can also follow me over on Instagram where I do a lot of product photography for many of the boxes that I open here on the channel. So that's it for our Tuesday twofer. I told you it was a mini mashup and it was indeed. I hope you enjoyed. If you have a chance, please leave this video a like and maybe a comment. Tell me what your favorite item was that we had for today. And I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.